I spent quite some time in Japan. I mean, I went to the first capital of Japan, was Kyoto. I had 14 days leave there with guests of the Americans. We invited 12 off the ship each fortnight to go on leave with whilst we was in Japan to go on leave and be guests, full guests of the Americans. Because we was the Anson, the Duke York was two of the battleships who were sent to Australia to assist anything the Americans wanted to do. And was there much damage in Kyoto? Kyoto. No, very, very little damage. Uh, the only thing they uh, went for in Kyoto was uh, a bomb range that they was testing with pilotless planes, like the Germans mm. with the doodle bug. And the Americans, two sergeants, took us, uh, the Marine and myself, up uh, a cable car to the top of the mountains where they was t had been testing this. And uh, I got a, a bit of a hero off the uh, Americans for going rooting in the tower that they used. Mm. And I found a, a, a turned up uh, like a wardrobe on the, on the floor and turned it up full of binoculars, guns, everything. And I started rooting amongst them and they screamed. Don't touch anything, they can, it can be booby trapped. <laughs> I wasn't worried about the booby trapped, I wanted to get a pair of binoculars. But, uh, Did you get a pair? No, I didn't get a pair. Not that they knew about. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it was surprising uh, to be with the Americans, how they was... Uh, uh, they was looked upon, they were two top sergeants and I was very pally with them, I went out with them at night for a drink. I even changed money with them because uh, they only had yen, they only had Japanese money. They was only paid in Japanese money. Uh, we was paid in English money and it was no use to us unless we changed it. And we got 60 yen to the pound. Well, the Americans would give us 200 to the pound, which meant we could go a long way. Uh, he, went in, uh, he went in one of their uh, nightclubs, the Japanese. They had they're pretty well made up, Leo. And their beer was the nearest beer to English beer I've ever had. And we used to go in and I used to, they get a book of tickets, dance tickets, 30 dances you could have when you pick any of the Japanese girls to dance with. They were quite good in Kyoto. I danced with one that kept calling me Shimmy. And it was still a non fraternisation ban on. And next day we had an American old sister, a girl, taking us and showing us some of the sights. And this one of these dance girls was walking on the other side and started shouting, shimmy, shimmy. And uh, I had to sling a deaf and walk on Because this horses wanted to know what was she was shouting at. <laughs> did you bring any souvenirs back with you, Jim? Uh, no, uh, I did. Um, I had a, a Sam Brown belt uh, with a, uh, one of the Japanese... Uh, small swords that they used to commit Harry Carry with. And an American, American captain spotted it when I was taking it out of my case to find some gear. But we all slept in uh, dormitories, big dormitories. They took all the, all the furniture out and made them dormitories in this Kyoto hotel where we stayed for a fortnight. And he wanted it and uh, he offered me, yeah, I said, no, I don't want to sell it, but he offered me enough money and I took it. <laughs> money. Yeah. So he didn't have the pearl handled? Oh, no, that? no. Uh, I could have done, I was never very interested in, in things like that. 
I brought uh, things on like kim kimonos uh, that uh, I swapped uh, with the Japanese in Kyuri. Uh, we used to go on their market and they, they had kimonos and photographs of, uh, uh, not photographs, embroideries of uh, lions, tigers, which is brilliantly done. And uh, I used to give them, uh, well, cigarettes. Cigarettes was most important. 20 packets of cigarettes would bring you anything. I got two kimonos for my two uh, nieces. N nothing, uh, I was never uh, eager to pick any souvenirs up. Uh, there was in there. Uh, when we went into Hong Kong and took over from the Japs and took the swords off them, all oh, looking at swords, but I thought, well, they're only, you've only got to keep bloody polishing them and if you put them on the wall. <laughs> After the filming had finished, Jimmy shown, shown me these rare and unseen photographs of royalty on board the HMS Anson. Uh, they're of Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester, and his wife, Princess Alice. Uh, the Prince was the Governor-General of Australia from 1944 to 47, and on this trip they're going to Hobart, Australia. The two children are Prince William and Prince Richard. Now, the little girl is unknown. She must be a member of the royal family, possibly a minor member, but uh, Jimmy didn't know who she was, but just nice to see these rare and unseen photographs. <laughs>